again. So in this video, uh, we will be going over uh, the cipher pattern, uh, the rules and how to trade it. We will be covering targets and stops. And I want to show you uh, an example of why actually uh, these patterns, uh, these uh, improved and advanced patterns, and in this case the cipher actually works right so let's get started so first of all let's cover the rules of the cipher pattern uh, uh, i might add that uh, the cipher pattern uh, is a pattern uh, found and uh, and uh, and uh, discovered and owned I guess by uh, a, a guy named uh, Darren Darren is a, uh, a part of uh, the trade empowered team which consists of uh, masters like uh, Jason Stapleton which happens to be my mentor uh, and that's the great thing about technology today that uh, you can actually have a mentor without him or her uh, even even uh, knowing about it so uh, with that being said let's uh, get right into uh, the rules of the cipher pattern so we have our impulse lag we have our first retracement we have our second lag up and we have our the completion point so let's measure this thing out and write in uh, then, uh, the points of the pattern. So we have X, we have A, we have B, we have C, and finally we have our D completion point, which is D. All right, so, the f oops. so the first rule of the cipher pattern is that uh, we have to have a uh, initial lag up or an impulse lag. We measure uh, out a, a retracement. Our first retracement has to, and that's measured from X to A, has to at least touch the three uh, thirty eight point uh, two but cannot close below in this case the six one eight right so we have to at least touch uh, the three eighty two but we cannot close below the six one eight so the wick can actually touch the six one eight and exceed the six one eight but the candle cannot close below the 618 so uh, that's our first rule our second rule is that uh, we uh, have a another uh, lag up we use our Fibonacci extension tool and we measure from X to a once again and our second rule of the cipher pattern is that we have to at least touch the 127 but we cannot close above the 1414 right so the wick can touch the one uh, the 127 the wick can touch the 1414 the candle can touch uh, the 127 it can exceed up to the 1414 but cannot close above that point right so that's our second rule our third rule uh, and our completion point is the C to D point and that states that we have to at least touch the 786 right so that will be our entry point here we would place our limit orders uh, and uh, of course the pattern is valid 
until uh, x, but it cannot break x. So this, even though we exceed our entry, this is still a valid pattern until we break our x leg, right? So let's, uh, uh, the final rule, so I won't forget, is that uh, the C to D leg has to exceed and close below the B point, right? So in some cases you may have the 786 uh, lining up to uh, and uh, above uh, the B point. That would not be a valid pattern. We have to exceed uh, below, or the wick has to exceed below the 618, or in this case the B point, right? And at least touch the 786. So let's draw this in. This uh, cipher pattern looks like this. Right? So let's talk about stops and targets. Uh, the general uh, stops, uh, no, the, oh, uh, the general target placement of the cipher pattern is measured from C to D, like this. And our first target, most people trade uh, the cipher pattern with two targets. First target, the 382. The second target, uh, the 618. Right? Uh, for our stops, our stops always, 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 always uh, go below X. So I personally uh, like to use the ATR for my stops. But of course, there are uh, other ways to play stops. You have, you can have uh, your fixed stops or your Fibonacci inversion or whatever. Just make sure you backtest whatever you're doing and and uh, uh, find if uh, that uh, system or uh, that way of stop placement, for example, is uh, making you uh, profit and ex uh, is. Uh, delivering uh, better profits uh, than the other stop placements. So you might well as uh, might uh, uh, be better off, uh, for example, uh, checking out both uh, some fixed stops and the ATR, right? So uh, my personal preference is the ATR. I use uh, one the ATR on the one hour time frame. Right, so for example, uh, we shall say that the ATR is something because we're drawing this in, and then uh, our stops would go. Let me use another line. Our stops would look something like this, right? So, uh, just for a general information that uh, it's nice to know, uh, on the lower time frames, you will. Uh, it's more likely to get a inverse uh, risk to uh, reward, right? So uh, the risk exceeds your reward. But uh, it's generally thought out uh, that the cipher pattern has a 70 to 80 percent win percentage. So uh, that is considered to be uh, okay, even though we have a uh, inverse uh, risk to reward. But like I said before, make sure you backtest and 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 check out all the all scenarios, right? So let's just head down to the chart. Let's take a look at a an example. Let me just clear up this chart right here, so uh, we can see more clearly. So here we have a cipher pattern. Can you see it? somewhere in here can you see it right so it's important to train your eyes to uh, finding these patterns it's not a given just to uh, know the rules of the pattern and and expect uh, to ex to uh, start uh, trading it uh, please 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 uh, backtest uh, 
all 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 patterns and all methods you're using uh, when when trading and uh, there's a reason for uh, backtesting it's uh, there are multiple reasons for backtesting one of them is actually to begin to train your eye to uh, to actually find uh, the patterns right and and build up your belief system in uh, the, this pattern so if you draw this in I will show you uh, the pattern here we have our X leg we have our uh, a leg or a point we have our B we have our C right here and we have our D completion point somewhere in here. We'll measure this thing out, find out for sure. So, like we said, uh, the first rule of the cipher pattern is a retracement from X to A. We have to at least touch 382, but cannot close above the 618. As you can see, we can touch the 618, but we cannot close above it. So, that's a valid first leg. Our second rule is a Fibonacci extension from X to A and our rule states that we have to at least touch the 127 which we do right here but we cannot close below in this case the 1414. So that also is a valid leg. So our third rule is our completion and that is done by uh, we have to at least touch the 786 right we cannot close above x so let's draw this thing in as you can see the pattern completes right here so this would look something like this x to a a to b b to c and c to d Right. We can put in the Fibonacci once more just to be sure. I will come right down here. So this is the pattern. So for our uh, target placements, this is something that many traders fail to uh, learn when uh, they're uh, first uh, learning uh, advanced patterns that is adjusting your targets so for entry we would measure out uh, our targets like this right at our d point but uh, as you can see that the market continues to the upside right so if we keep the fibonacci on the d point we are actually measuring out fibonacci of nothing right because Fibonacci has to be measured from where from a top on top or below of the candles So if we're here, we're uh, right in the middle of uh, the candle and measuring actually from nothing So as the market uh, continues up or down in either case uh, We have to adjust our targets. So in this case the market comes all the way up to here so this would be our first target and this would be our second target, right? A nice thing to know also is um, when uh, setting our stops, let's put in a imaginary stop right here. So if this was our stop originally uh, and we see that the market uh, completes to our first target, it is a basic uh, thing to do is to cover our tracks or cover our target uh, or, or cover our trade so we move our stops to break even just like that then we have a risk free trade and as you can see we touch the 382 do not touch the D point or our break even point and we complete to the 618, completing both our targets, right? <clears throat> so, so that's pretty important. Al also, I wanted to show you actually why 
uh, this uh, this uh, pattern and and basically all patterns work the way they do. So if you uh, are not familiar with structure, support, and resistance, uh, this th this will this will uh, surprise you, or not maybe surprise you, but uh, this is basically why uh, the market moves as it moves and the patterns patterns work like they work. So I can bump up here. Let's go to a four-hour time frame. And we can see this is our pattern, and we can actually see how the market is moving, right? So if we take zoom out here a little bit, so we have some support and some resistance, uh, or in this case, we have some uh, resistance. We have resistance right here, we have resistance right here, right here, we have some right here, we have some right here, we have some right here. So uh this is essentially no coincidence right that uh, these patterns work the way they do also uh an advanced pattern is nothing more than a series of points of structure right so let's take an example um the c point is a structure point Right, the B point is a structure point. The X point is a structure point. So let's check out the market. Let's see if the market respects those points. Right? Obviously, we have the C point. Right? We have something right here. We have something right here. We have something right here. We can probably go further. We have something right here. We have something right here. Right? Can you see how the market uh, is respecting those levels? So it's it's not a coincidence that the 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 pattern itself forms the way it does, right? We have let's check out the B point. We have some structure right here. We have some stuff structure right here, right here. Can you see this? Right here, right here. So essentially, the market moves into structure points and forms uh, these kinds of patterns. Right, so that's important to just to realize how the market is moving and why those patterns form the way they do. So, if you're not familiar with structure, support, and resistance, I encourage you to dig deeper into that subject uh, and actually master uh, support and resistance before doing anything else. Right. But anyways, uh, that was uh, the rules of the cipher pattern, uh, some uh, targets and uh, how to place stops. So I hope you enjoyed. Until next time.